Let me now turn to the theme that I've been asked to speak about today. And that is for the world to respect Africa. Now the first thing that I want to underline is that respect is never a given. It cannot be purchased. It must be earned. And it is earned based not on rhetoric or request, but based on action, concrete action, consistent action over time. Saudi Arabia has oil, as does Nigeria. Kuwait has oil, as does Nigeria. Qatar has abundant gas, as does Nigeria and other countries. Yet Nigeria is the country the largest share of its population living below extreme poverty line in 2023 in Africa. That is not a gold medal that we should be proud about. Clearly, there is something fundamentally wrong in our management, or rather mismanagement of our natural resources. It is also clear that if we continue to mismanage these natural resources, we will remain stuck. I have urged African governments to stop securing loans backed by their natural resources. And that's because those natural resource backed loans are not transparent. They are expensive. They make debt resolution very, very difficult. If that trend continues, it will be a disaster for Africa. If we manage our natural resources well, Africa has no reason to be poor. We have $6.2 trillion of natural resources. So how in the world are we poor? We simply need to pull up our socks, stamp our corruption, and manage our natural resources in the interest of our countries and in the interest of our people. And let me say, the resources of a country does not belong in the pockets of powerful and rich individuals. It belongs for the state to be used for the, for the benefit of the people of that country. There must be accountability on our natural resources. I wonder sometimes when people go around and say, well, I've actually helped, we put a borehole in a state, or pull a borehole, and it's on national television. The very fact that you're actually installing boreholes is an indication of government failure. Because in 21st century, every single house must be having pipe bomb water. So that's nothing to be really delightful about in trying to do that. And we should get away from this feeling of leaders feeling that they are doing public good. No. Leaders must be held accountable for the resources of the people.